Winner talk all the time, ooh, yeah Look at the way that I move, swag Disrespectful and I'm rude, okay I had cocaine in the school, uh. Hey, this is coming back to new video of One Piece Round right? And Gear 5 Luffy is coming finally, though Day after tomorrow so whether you should summon on this character, how broken is he and kill traits and class color analysis. We are gonna do all that on this video. By the way, the new, nah, this new PFE looks so goated and inside also this 100 million downloads looks so goated. Hopefully they don't change it and this be like that forever cause this is the best. Really love that looking like really goated, really goated. We getting 250 rainbow diamonds plus 50 login bonus also like 300 and like I think ocean won one match and one match suns won so maybe like we getting both frags and gems also hopefully so maybe 300 five around gems we getting maybe hey yo all of you lucky mofos who think that you are lucky as fuck Go on this banner, you can get Gear 5 Luffy for free also. 100 million downloads appreciation live broadcast, a free once X10 scout will be out every Sunday from 27th of August till 26th of September. That means like 5 chances you have to get free Gear 5 Luffy. Crazy, crazy, I heard that a lot of mofos got shanks for 3 RDS 50 for free also. So you guys have 5 chances to get Gear 5 Luffy for free. Best of luck to all of you. 100 million downloads appreciation live broadcast from 23 of August till 26 of September. Bounce Man and 2 Forcer correct Straw Hat Pirates correctors are guaranteed in the 100 million download appreciation ticket scout now on. I don't know like if it's free or you can get it from event but I think it should be free though cause people were saying that green kaido and all that was also free so maybe bounce man will also be free with two other straw hats. Alright these are the corrected traits and strategy. This is the gear 5 monkey the Luffy arise. Start going to start with the defender. It's actually good cause whenever you take the first flag people say that only defender should take the first flag. Luffy's abilities skills. Skill 1 Gomu Gomu Lightning that is Kaminari. A long range area attack with a chance to shock enemies cool down 28 seconds at skill level 5. If shock cannot be inflicted then it will knock back. Oh. Attack ignore obstacles. Attack ignores obstacles. Does that mean you can throw this Kaminari through walls also, behind the walls or every obstacle? Cause wall, door, all those things are also obstacles though. So like, will it ignore those walls and everything or not? Like Big Mom. If it can do that, W skill. Become temporarily invincible after use acquires attack debuff effect at level 5. It does attack debuff also at level 5. Nah man. This is going to be the most broken character for real. Luffy's ability scales Gomu Gomu Bajrang gun. This Bajrang gun is like just imagine just imagine Zephyr though. Like Zephyr is there, you can use this skill like that only. But I think Zephyr can't use this skill at the start. And Zephyr skill is like more kind of a long range. This one is not going to be that much long range to most probably. But you can use this skill at the start also, I think so. This skill can be used only once per spawn. It will be available again after respawning as I said. If you use Gomu Gomu Bajrang Gun, skill 2 will become Gomu Gomu Giant. This skill will change to this skill once you use Bajrang Gun every time you get respawn and start the match. A long range area attack with a knockback effect, damage deal will ignore the enemy's defense stat or damage they like ignores damage defense also ignores defense buff attack ignores obstacles bro does every attack of Luffy ignores obstacles does this mean like this can also go through walls and all that Cause it says attack ignores obstacles. Crazy. 
become temporarily invincible after use. This skill cannot be used in some locations where there are obstacles overhead. Under the bridge, there you can't use this skill. But because you have to go like really high and then use that skill. So you can't go high because there is a bridge up be above you. So you can't use this skill on there though. Like I think Bharati stage, there is like on the mid of Thriller Bark stage and etc etc. Matches like maps like that. Gomu Gomu Giant cooldown 37 seconds only. At scale level 5, if you use Gomu Gomu Bajwang Gun skill, to will become Gomu Gomu Giant. A mid range area attack with a knockback effect, damage dead will ignore the enemy's defense start. New fire target for a set period of time. Okay, this skill is not ignore obstacles though. Every skill was like ignoring obstacles. This one is fine. Luffy's abilities traits. Corrected traits. Nuzify shock and entrance. Why doesn't Nuzify every skill or every thing? But okay, it Nuzify only shock and entrance. So when you start refilling the treasure, cause the class cha changes to defender. When you are inside the like your own treasure and increasing that treasure cause your class will changes to defender and when you are like on one spot only it will like the you will be like keep on moving though like queen is like keep on dancing same like luffy will also be like keep on moving kind of like made it goofy or funny you can say when attacking an enemy in the area around your enemy's treasure the class changes to attacker w when you start capturing treasure the class changes to runner so you can become attacker defender and runner every time you need that class though if you want to be defender and face the treasure god you can do that also if you want to take flags and become runner you can do that also if you want to kill the enemies and be offensive you can do that also defender traits when in the area around your capture treasure reduce damage received by 30 percent damn damage reduction is there when you are in your team's treasure area and the treasure gorge is 80% or more, resist aggro and knockback W can ignore the enemy and refill the treasure gorge and recover the treasure gorge 50% past its maximum amount. Same like Big Bomb. If the if you are fighting with the enemy inside the flag, it will still be like keep on like treasure gorge will still be keep on increasing. Plus recover the treasure gorge 50% past its maximum amount that means you can fail the treasure gorge 150% same like blue kaido and big mom new x big mom crazy attacker traits when in the area around your enemy's treasure increase damage date by 30% when your hp is more than 70% resist stagger effects okay Using skill to your attack increases by 30% for 20 seconds. Cannot stack. Crazy, crazy. When you use your skill, your attack increases by 30%. There, it, it doesn't show any attack buff, defense or runner buffs till now though. Okay, runner traits. When your HP is 70% or more, increase capture speed by 50% W. While you are capturing treasure, resist stagger and being down. Okay. Same like what you say. Odin, runner Yamato. Crazy. He has all the things as an attacker, as a runner, and as the best defender also. Recover 30% of HP and reduce the cooldown time of scale 1 by 20% when you capture treasure. 30% of HP recovery is also there. Wow. Luffy's ability traits, trait 1 when knocking back an enemy increase defense by 20%, increases up to 70% but reset then reset once scale. Okay, he has defense buff though. And increase speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Speed will also increase for by 20% for 10 seconds on the when in the treasure area reduce jammer seed by 30%. And increase damage dead by 20%. That's really nice when you are inside your own treasure area. Ah, uh, why it's looking like I think there is not going to be any attack or runner like runner buff. So there is only going to be defense buff. That's it. There's only going to be defense buff. 
after holding down the scale button during the first hit of a normal attack combo, the second hit of the attack changes into a counter attack and that knock enemies back become temper after like first hit is normal and second hit you can change it to counter though. I think you have to hold your that skill or it will become the counter attack though. Way two, when you knock back an enemy, recover HP by 15% and reduce the cooldown time of scale 2 by 15%. A lot of HP recovery is also there. When your HP is more than 50%, remove status effect and nullify status effect inflicted by enemy. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? When your HP is more than 50%, remove status effects. You can not only nullify status effect, you can remove enemy status effect also. Same like King or like other characters, I think Kaido also, new green Kaido. Keep on removing status effect of enemy and you can nullify those status effects also. When you have more than 50% HP. What the fuck? Bro. This is the broken trade. This is the broken trade. When attacked by an enemy whose parameters are boosted. Remove status effect. Apply to enemy that buff their target for a certain period of time. It removes attack buff, defense buff and all those buffs also. Same like King. What the fuck is this character, bro? Too broken, too broken. If you can't get this character, it's the end. When a straight activates, it also nullifies status effect applied to the enemy. Does not apply to invincibility. Also reduce the cooldown time of scale to about 7%. Crazy, bro. He's looking really broken right now. Luffy's ability strategy. Character strategy Luffy can change to any class depending on his trait. Also, he has specific traits for each class. It will be easier to protect treasure as a defender, easier to go on the offense as an attacker, and it will be easier to capture treasure as a runner. Obviously, fight freely by changing to the class you want. I mean, if you love using runner, if you love using attacker, if you love using defender, this is the character for you. Cause this is all three on one. <sighs> really crazy. Plus, after holding down the scale button during the first hit of a normal attack combo, the second hit of the attack changes into a counter attack. Yeah, you have to hold down the normal attack, as I said. Why it says hold down the scale button? I think it means like normal hard scale button only. Make use of the enemy's attack and turn it back against them. Also, Luffy becomes stronger as his defense increases when he knock back enemies. Knock back enemies with your skill and normal attack counter. One question I have on my mind. Like when he is defender and his defense buff to 70%. If he changes his class to attacker or runner or kind of like that. Will he still be having that defense buff or not? What you guys think? Let me know. Luffy's ability strategy, how to use skill 1 Gomu Gomu Lightning. A skill that grabs lightning high in the sky and throws it at a long range. This attack ignores obstacles so catch enemies off guard by striking from their blind spot. Behind the walls and all that because they can't see that I think that's what that meant. Also you can rec avoid receiving damage with the invincible state. When you are using this skill, no one can hit you or no one can use skill on you. A simple skill that covers both offense and defense. Goated. How to use skill 2 by one Gomu Gomu Bajurangal. A skill that can only be used once per spawn. You can attack enemies over a wide range with a giant fist. Okay, sus. Also, this skill ignores defense and deal damage, so you can aim to deal huge damage and turn the tide with this skill. But it doesn't say it ignores. Obstacles here though, but it says Ognos. Okay, I guess. How to use scale 2 to Gomu Gomu Giant is scale where Luffy becomes bigger and storms enemies underfoot. Some as Gomu Gomu Bajrangan, this attack ignores defense and can knock back 
enemies okay w depending on his trade it can be easy to reduce the cooldown time so be sure to frequently use his skill w really w this character is really goaded as fuck get this character or you guys gonna regret it cause he's looking like really goaded really broken as fuck really broken as fuck and that's it for the video and thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more video content hint six analyze this videos like that and what you guys think about this k5 zufi and do you guys think he's going to be guaranteed or non-guaranteed because of that item exchange though plus black ticket is also coming black ticket means guaranteed item exchange means non-guaranteed also so what you guys think guaranteed or non-guaranteed plus how many gems you guys have for gear 5 zufi now do tell me on comment section i have 1200 and make sure to join us on the live stream when gear 5 zufi comes we're gonna do a giveaway also 5500 rds and we're gonna do the live summoning on my main account also so see you guys on the stream and till then bye guys bye bye Winter time, all the time, ooh, yeah Look at the way that I move, swag Disrespectful and I'm rude, okay I had cocaine in the school, uh, Winter one hell of a